Right, so this is going to be Scorpio Sun Moon and as well rising. Our weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week, October 5th to October 11th, uh, 2020. And uh, just bear with me, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump right into it. If you do want to contact me about a uh, personal reading or you want to take a participation into my tarot classes, all the information about that you are going to find into the description down below. So with that being said, let's cut the cards and lay down the uh, first four main cards and um, see what you uh, what you got so the first one or what we got so the first one that we do have is going to be the queen of wands and this card is accompanied here wow by the ten of swords oh my um well it's very strong to say the least with these two so that will be a woman that either destroys everything about us or it builds us tremendously uh it's pretty much uh, this is and i'm saying that because this is how it stands now with this woman here that woman uh, cannot stand we being as we are anymore okay and either is going to provoke in us a uh, unstoppable and, and kind of like what what the word should I use here? Probably indomitable energies of growth, or it's pretty much going to leave us stranded. It's that's what those cards here are showing. But as they are friends, and the, the Queen of Wands has a very good understanding of of our nature in general that is a person that either we spend a lot of time with we do have a lot of history with that person or that person is pretty much a natural i don't know how the human designers are saying it you know that when that person spends a little bit time with you they instantly know what kind of a soul you are they they understand what you need they understand you know how you function they understand how you think and it's it's pretty much capable to provoke you to exceed your best and i do suspect that this is what's going to happen to us here but should that be our enemy you know we have to prepare to to lose a lot in that particular case with the ten of swords that we do have um pretty much uh, we can expect that this individual right is going to make something really drastic with us throughout the week itself and that drastic action will require as well drastic measures from our behalf. We will have to make up our mind for good. We'll have to uh, do some some actions for good as well. All that I'm talking about it is that we are going to be um, set with our back against the wall, right? Uh, that we cannot avoid making irreversible uh, action or irrevocable decision that comes about and it's all dictated by this person here which is the queen of wands so is this going to be about our greater good or not that remains to be seen and is going to be shown in the upcoming cards which i don't know which uh, what kind of a card they are so bear with me here okay okay because i am legitimately interested about what is to unfold i usually you know i just do those reading in those general readings i don't pay much attention to them but that that thing man i mean oh my god all right so uh next one that is what is going to hurt us okay that is this this card here shows king of cups again um what's it's really act against us and now we can safely say that this woman here or this individual here is positive for us okay let's uh, draw one more here yeah okay so that's what what we have throughout the week we do have to choose for the safety and a lack of growth or we are gonna risk with the potential to grow immensely and i do believe that 
contrary to myself, I'm going to choose the risk here, okay? But that's individual that we do have, which actually holds us back of our unfoldment moving forward. That is an, an individual that is pretty attached to us in many ways, emotionally especially, uh, and it's kind of like they are uh, very harmonious as well with us with the two of cups it's not excluded to be our lover i don't have such but for you it could be your lover or it could it is something that loves you very very much and as with the previous star signs that the king of cups came about uh that is someone who does not wishes you to fail uh, not by a large margin they just don't wish you to suffer they don't want to see you to suffer and that's why they are advising you strongly against taking this risk here uh, making that irrevocable uh, decision or irreversible action for two reasons. First of all, that will kind of like um, uh, separate you a little bit. It's not like going to sever the relationship you do have, but it's going to kind of like hurt it a little bit. Okay. And the other thing that they are afraid of, it is that once you do what the Queen of Wands demands from you, there is no going back. It's, it's as simple as that. So that is the fear of the unknown is their driving force. And these individuals here, they are pretty, um, they, they, they have their foot set on the ground and they pretty much have um, their expectancies settled. So the, uh, the unknown drives them crazy especially of what is to happen to you as well so bear that in mind and once you uh, and when you have to confront that guy or that woman here that plays a role of the king of cups don't give them a hard time for their intentions are a pure intentions now just because the universe plays such a cruel role so putting them on the other end okay on the enemy's end that's not their fault Next one, it is what helps us here, and that will be the Five of uh, Pentacles. Uh, the accompanied card is going to be the Two of Pentacles. It's pretty short here of the explanation. What helps us is the rough patch we are into, okay? It doesn't have to be that you are going through a rough time, but according to the Five of Pentacles, something isn't going on very well with our lives. I know what it is with mine. You probably know what it is with yours. And with the Two of Pentacles throughout this week, we're going to have just what it needs for us, that it is, to kind of like revitalize our life. And with the Two of Pentacles, however, it will require a little bit of a different uh, thinking, if you will, a little bit of a different concept. So it will require from us to be to adapt. That is something I can adapt, but I can't change, if you know what I mean. So it will be a difficult process, at least for me, uh, but for you, hopefully, it's going to be much easier than that. And um, it's pretty much, uh, this is how it stands with those two cards. The harder is for us right now, the more progress we are going to do in the week that it is to come. Um, so, for example, the more you struggle with money now, the more money you're going to make. The more you struggle with love, the more love you're going to experience, okay? The more you struggle with this in, in a social aspect, the more social connections you're going to do into the upcoming week. So, whatever it is depleted is going to be refilled back into the upcoming week. That will be because we are going to break our box and go into the unknown, you know, traverse the trash, that threshold that is so obstructing us to do what it is necessary for us to to feel happy in general or to be happy and to be uh, to be successful it's not like we're not feeling happy right now but we can feel happy much more uh once we um once we see that we we do have the guts and what it takes you know to make uh, new things or to do new things if you uh if you will and the last card that we do have that is going to be the uh, uh how the week ends here that will be the chariot and it is accompanied here with the uh judgment wow okay so um instead of letting us this is what the uh, the uh the cards are saying instead of letting us we letting ourselves to be dragged by the current we are going to be the current i could explain it like that say our life is on a ship and we are now letting that shift to to draft 
in the current and we are doing nothing about it. Now, by the end of this week, we are going to gra grapple the, uh, the rule of the ship itself with a firm hand and we alone are going to navigate our ship wherever we uh, want our ship to go. Uh, it's, it's, those two cards are, are pointing that um, we alone are going to create the circumstances of, uh, of our success, regardless of if this, this success is going to be in regard to career or in regard to relationship. But all in all here, it does look like that this week for us is going to be a week where whatever has been depleted in our life is going to be refilled again. Uh, and that will be because we made it do it, not because it was gifted to us. So that being said, Scorpio, that was our uh, general weekly tower reading. Uh, it was uplifting to me. I was, uh, I was genuinely scared when I saw those two cards and I was so praying that the next one are going to be in a good relation here. And when I saw that King of Cups into the second position, I was kind of like relieved to see it, okay? And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, prepare for a really, really rejuvenating week that it is to come. So with that being said, uh, thank you all for watching and hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye-bye.